In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a very, very brutally honest adcreative.ai review because I'm someone that has been using adcreative.ai to run Google Ads in the last, what, maybe two, three months. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the truth. So I'll do that by talking about four major things. So first of all, I'm going to walk you guys through the scam because like you saw in the video's title, I was talking about a scam that's going on with the ad creative tool. And don't worry, I'm going to walk you guys through what this scam is and I'm going to show you guys how you can stay away from this scam because if you do not see what this scam is, and actually learn how to stay away from it you're gonna fall victim and you're gonna get scammed by these guys who are actually responsible for this ad creative scam that i'm about to reveal to you right now so once i'm done talking about that scam that is the first thing that i'm gonna do in this review video and when i'm done talking about the scam showing you guys what it is and how you can stay away from it i'm then gonna go ahead and talk about the second thing on my list here which is gonna be some of the results that i've gotten from some of the ad creatives that i've actually used ad creative to actually run because i use it to generate a couple of ad titles for some google ads that i ran so basically i'm going to show you guys two different google ad campaigns that i ran without the ad creative.ai tool and then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys two campaigns that i ran with the ad creative.ai tool and i'm going to show you guys like the results that i got from the ad i did with my own head and the results that i got from the ad creative thing so that you can see for yourself see whether it's something you would want to get and use for yourself or not and what i'm done talking about i'm going to go ahead and talk about the third thing that i'm going to break down for you guys in this ad creative.ai review and that thing is the pros and cons so in the space of the few months that i actually use them i actually made a list of both the good and the bad sides i come with using ad creative and i'm going to be walking you guys through each and every one of these good sides and these bad sides so you can actually take them into consideration when you're going to be finally wanting to make your final decision on ad creative.ai by the end of this video and yes now that i'll say that the fourth and the final part of this video is a part where i'm going to go ahead and like do a demo log into my ad creative account right here and i'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like on the inside what it can actually generate for you on the inside and once you see those things from these four things that i'm going to break down for you here you're going to be able to comfortably make an informed decision on whether or not the ad creative.ai tool is something you would want to use for yourself as someone that actually spends money on advertising on the internet so now that i know that you guys know all that i want you guys to go ahead and leave me a like on here and when you leave me a like here if at any point in this my review you happen to have any questions about anything that i'm going to say here all you're going to have to do is just ask me down below in the comments i'm going to like uh, reply all the questions i'm going to be there i'm going to be active so that's say i'm going to properly get the video started by breaking down to you guys what this ad creative scam is and actually how it works so the picture you can see on the screen right now the screenshot that I actually took when I found this out so I found this out like a couple of weeks ago and I said okay I'm gonna make a video about this so the picture you can see here looks perfectly normal it looks like the original ad creative AI website but if you go ahead and actually look into the domain you can see that it's gonna say ad creative.io I'm gonna zoom in you can see it says ad creative.io and that is not the real company those guys are scammers they actually copied the code of this website replicated everything and they're trying to scam people they're running ads so mind where you click on the internet right so to make sure that everyone that's going to be watching this review here is actually safe by the end of the video if you're done watching and you learned the pros the cons you've seen my google ad results and you've actually seen what ad creative looks like on the inside when it's working and you get to make a final decision that you want to go ahead and give ad creative a try what you can do is to use the link down below in the description when you click on that link it's going to get you this $500 free Google Ads thing right here on the ad creative platform and apart from that it's going to get you a discount as well and then apart from that most importantly it's going to help you make sure you're not clicking on any of those fake scammer ad creative websites out there that i just warned you guys about so this one here is ad creative.io at the time of making this video they might have taken it down because when those guys scam people a lot the sites get reported and they get taken down so they might have taken it down by now at the time of me making this video which is why i took the screenshot so you can see the screenshot right here right now on the screen so that is a scam right there to stay away like i said use a link make sure you're safe mind where you click and like i said i'm going to leave a link down below in the description it's going to get you a discount it's going to get you a free 500 dollars at the same time it's going to save you from this scammers and yes like i said that is the first thing that i'm going to address in this video now that i've addressed that we're going to go ahead and talk about the next thing on our list in this review video here so for those of you guys who do not know i'm an internet marketer that's what i do basically so i run ads for companies i run ads for myself i run ads for friends family i run ads a lot of ads on the internet i run native ads youtube ads google ads i run everything almost everything i run instagram ads as well i run bing i buy pop traffic i buy banner ads as well so i do all those things and that is why i constantly run into softwares like ad creative but AI right here and to share my results with you guys right here the results I got I'm gonna like break it down like I said earlier so like I said earlier I told you guys that I was gonna like, show you guys two different campaigns that I ran two different set of campaigns so the first two I'm gonna show you guys are gonna be campaigns that I ran 
I spent $200 on each of these campaigns. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys the statistics for the clicks that came through the ads that I ran without ad creative right here. And once I'm done showing you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the stats, the search ads that I ran on Google using ad creative right here. So that from that, you can actually see for yourself and actually answer the question of does um, ad creative work? Is it worth it by yourself right now? So the picture you can see on the screen right now, the two pictures you're gonna see right now are screenshots of my landing page clicks. So I track uh, some of my landing pages with things like Bitly so that that way I know where the traffic is coming from, like the country and like uh, the traffic source. So I use Bitly and what you can see on the screen here are two screenshots from two Bitly links, right? So these links are the links that are on the campaigns that I actually run on Google right here before I started using ad creative. So these two ads that you can see on the screen right now, you can see the both of them got literally less than 100 clicks. And like I said, I spent right around about $200 on each of these ads and those are the results. And yes, now that you've seen that, the next two pictures you're gonna see on the screen right now, are the pictures of the ads that are run on Google using adcreative.ai. So you can actually see these two pictures right now. You can see that the two of them each got over 150 clicks. And that means obviously that there was a difference, right? So why that works is because of the copywriting. So when this thing is generating things for you, it actually uses words that's gonna like make people do stuff. It actually uses words that's gonna actually make people take action. So that way you're gonna be getting more action on your ads itself. You're going to be getting more action on your landing page itself if you use the idea that was given to you by um ad creative on the ad itself and that's just how it works so yes ad creative is actually worth it in my opinion it actually worked for me it actually changed some things for me it actually changed my game it improved my game so yes i recommend it and now that i've talked about that i'm going to go ahead and move on to the third part of this review right here which is a part where i'm going to talk about the pros and the cons because if I don't talk about the pros and the cons, it's not going to be a complete review. So I'll start with the pros. And when I'm done talking about the pros, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the cons as well. So the pros, the first thing that I'm going to mention here is the fact that it's very, very user friendly. So when I go inside my account and I start showing you guys like how it works in the demo part, the part of this review where I'm going to show you guys a demo, you're going to see for yourself that ad creative is actually easy to use. It's very easy to understand. Like it's the user interface is very simple. It's very basic. You know where to click and all. So you're not going to get lost. And that is pro number one. And now that I've talked about that, the second thing on my list here is the fact that it gives you clean titles and clean design so if you want to design a twitter post uh linkedin post general story or meta post or pinterest post anything you want to do is going to give you a clean design and like i said i use uh the thing to generate like um um, um, um google ad titles and like um different title angles to come from and actually did a good job i've shown you guys results you saw the results for yourself so that is pro number two and now that i've talked about that when you scroll down to the bottom of their website you can see that they have your linkedin their twitter your YouTube and other platforms here. So these are the official platforms. And why I'm showing you guys this is because the third pro on my list here is the fact that these guys have a very, very good customer support. So they're gonna chat with you, they're gonna support you, they're gonna talk to you anytime, any day. So you can actually tag them on your social networks. They can actually talk to you anytime, any day. So they have a very, very good customer support. I'm a witness of that. And now that I've mentioned that, the last one of the listing that I'd like to mention here as a pro that actually comes with using um, ad creative for your ads, is the fact that when you look here on your website, you can actually see that they have like a free trial. And like I said, to make sure you're safe, to make sure you don't run into one of those guys, use the link down below, sign up for your free trial, make sure you're safe. And apart from the fact that they have this free trial, you can actually cancel anytime. And apart from that, the main point I want to make here is the fact that if you scroll up to the top right here, you can see the part where it's going to have something like this discount right here. So this discount is what I'm talking about. When you use a coupon link, you're going to get access to things like this on a regular. And apart from this, the main point I wanted to make here is the fact that you're going to be able to get like a $500 of Google Ads credit when you actually sign up through a coupon link. And that's like something that you don't see with most companies out there, which is why I had to mention this as a pro here, because it's something that they do that other companies don't. And now that I've talked about these, those are the top four things that I really, really liked while I was using um ad creative ai and now that i've talked about these good things let's go ahead and talk about the bad things which are the cons so uh, the first thing that i'm gonna have to mention as a con here is the fact that those scammers i really feel like they should do something about that to maybe inform their users more to be more careful about where they click and like where they're putting their details and like where they're putting their credit card stuff and all because these people are actually getting smarter by the day right so as we're getting smarter the scammers are getting smarter too so you too you have to be very very careful and now that I've talked about that as a con, the second thing that I would like to mention here as a con is the fact that sometimes when you are using their design tool, they might actually get you some designs that might look identical to each other, almost identical. So what you just do is you just regenerate in that kind of situation. But this doesn't happen all the time, right? But I just felt like I should let you guys know in case it happens so that you know what to expect. It's going to happen from time to time. And that is because it's a computer. That is what it does. So just expect it. It's not something to... 
it's not something to like but i believe they are working on it i believe they're gonna improve on that and i believe it's gonna be a solved problem very soon but for now at the time of me making this video it's still a problem and now that i've talked about that so the last con here is the lack of flexibility on their like professional plans right here so yeah, i feel like on this professional plans they should actually create more plans lower plans for people who have like agencies and stuff who want to use all the features here but don't have enough money to like pay right there so like that's what i feel i've seen a couple of people myself in real life who actually complain so like i feel like they should actually improve on that and actually create more pricing options when it comes to their professional plans and now that i've talked about those three things those are the three major things that i didn't like so i've talked about four things that i liked which are the pros three things that i didn't like which are the cons if there's any other thing that i actually find out that is bad in the future i'm going to make an updated video to this one i'm going to upload it here but for now this is literally what it is right so if you watch to this point of the video just go ahead and leave me a like here go down below ask me any questions if you have any questions but if at this point you still do not have any questions and you're still watching what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and log into my ad creative account and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on the inside so i'm going to go ahead and click on here where it says login and okay so when you come into um the dashboard right here you can see what it looks like on the inside so when you go ahead and click on where it says integrate you can put in your uh, Google Ads account. You can connect all these accounts right here, like your Google Analytics, your ad you need, your Zapier account, your Sync Spider. But those ones are not available as at the point of me recording this video, right? They're going to become available soon. But basically, what you do is you connect like your Facebook page, and like that is literally how it works. You connect your Instagram page, and that is literally what the integration spot is about when you come inside of here so when you actually click on where it says brand and actually uh click on where it says create brand that's actually how you create a brand so what a brand is is like basically like a company name and a logo so you can see one right there so i'm gonna go ahead and click on where it says create brand to show you guys what it looks like so you can see when we'll click on there it's gonna bring us here and when it brings us here you can see this part is where you're gonna enter uh the the your brand name so i'm gonna put in the logo and you can see that when you upload the logo it's gonna automatically like detect the colors of your brand the colors that are integrated into your logo so it's gonna put them here automatically and like that is just one cool feature right there so you can connect your ad account through here as well you can connect your facebook ad account your google ads account and like um that's literally what that part is for so that, that was what i was talking about when i was talking about the whole integration thing so that's literally it right there and that's for this part so when you actually go back to where you say uh color right now so when we we'll go ahead and click on here where it says color it's gonna pull up this color panel right here and you can see it's gonna automatically put in your main um, um brand logos right there so it's gonna also give you this cool thing here called the ai recommendations like color combinations that's gonna suit different moods different ideas different things that you might want to portray uh in the ad uh that you actually want to like run for your brand right there so that's how this part works right so that's one pretty cool thing that i'm gonna point out for you guys here and like that is literally uh, for the colors part right there now that i've talked about that what you do is you go ahead and click on where it says add brand and when you click on where it says add brand it's gonna bring us here where it's gonna show you your brand then you go ahead and click on where it says create project at the top so when you click on where it says create project what's gonna happen is that's gonna bring us here where we're gonna have to select our creative format so what a project is basically it's like a black friday offer anything that you want to sell with your business or whatever you're running the ad about that's what your project is so here is where you select your post size so that's basically what this is and as you can see they have like two different post uh um, um, um sizes so you can actually choose to run like a post size ad or you can choose to create an ad image for like a story size so you can go ahead and click on where it says save and continue and this is um i'm showing me this image is because i'm actually using the facebook one so it's gonna take data from your um facebook ads account if you've connected it so basically this is what you're gonna be seeing like this is what it looks like uh when you're using the free trial so basically you put it in like a, a headline of maybe the product you want to sell the punchline you can actually put in the um um, um the call to action right there you can actually I click on save and continue so here's where you can actually upload a background image and uh when you click on there you can upload an image or you can click on the little thing there to actually search their database they actually have their own database as you can see here so you can use free stock images to sell whatever you want to sell create whatever creatives for whatever you want to create you can see the images right here and yes now that you guys have seen this one right here that is basically it that's basically what this part is about and now that you guys know that what i'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and select this image right here and I'm gonna like put this thing around, move it around. You can see, you can actually move it around to like put it how you want it to be. So when you do that, you can see what it looks like on here. And now 
that you guys have seen this right here this one where my cursor is at right now is uh where you can actually like um, um remove the background of your product if that's what you want to do so if the product you want to create and add creative for is like something that actually um needs the background removed maybe you want a white background you can use that tool there it's very very easy it works well and yes that's basically what this is right here that's basically what the background remover tool uh, that is written a product optional that's why it's optional that's if you actually want to do that right there so that's basically what the background remover is that is how it works and yes now you go ahead and click on where it says create a post and when you click on where it says create a post you're going to put in a name right here and when you put in a name you can go ahead and click on um save it and generate so it's going to generate a lot of creatives for us and based off of the data that is going to be inside your google ads or your facebook ads account for this example i'm giving you guys in this review video it's the facebook ads account so basically it's going to take data from there and it's going to give you something called ai recommendation where it's going to tell you the kind of ads that have worked in your facebook account before previously what has worked on people it's going to tell you what is most likely to work for whatever type of product you're trying to sell based on um the data from your past ads on your Facebook account. So you can see this one here has a 50 over 100 AI recommendation. The one at the top right here, if I go up, has the highest. So basically those are gonna be the best ads for me and the ones at the bottom are gonna be the least of the ads for me. And yes, that's literally what this thing is. So it's another cool feature right here that uh, many people are not gonna tell you about in their review videos, but this is it right here. This is what it basically looks like. And yes, now that you guys have seen this and now that you guys know what the AI recommendation tool is, I'm now going to go ahead and do the next thing that we're supposed to do here. And that next thing is to actually select the images that we want to choose. So when you look through here and you actually choose what ones you want to use based off of your instincts or based off of the um, AI predictions that I told you guys about, sorry, the AI recommendations that I told you guys about, what you then do is you then go ahead and like download your images and render them. So to render your images, it's not going to cost you anything, but basically to actually um, 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 download an image, that's where you actually spend your point. So that's how ad creative works. That's where you spend money to buy coins. Uh, so those coins is what you're going to use. So, that, so you can sit down here and try out package. That's why I signed up for a free trial to record this video to show you guys what it looks like on the inside so that you guys actually know how these things work. And like, that's literally it right there. So basically you go ahead and select your images to render them, it's free, but to download, you actually have to spend points. Now here, you can actually go ahead and click on where it says change font. When you click on there, it's gonna pull up this thing so you can literally search for any font and actually click on regenerate. So I'm gonna click on here. Uh, Roboto, I'm gonna change to Montserrat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and like um, I'm click on regenerate. It's gonna change everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on regenerate right here. And when I click on there, you can see it's gonna start regenerating everything right here in front of us. It's gonna change all the fonts to show you what it looks like. Then if you like it, you can go ahead and render and uh it's gonna take some time and once it's done you can see literally you can see it's literally changed the font right there for the images that i select so basically what i'll do now is I'll go ahead and click on where it says settings and when we come to here where it says settings, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and uh put in a product hunt so i'm gonna leave a product hunt down below in the description or if you can find it ask me down below in the comments it's gonna get you a 50 percent lifetime discount so this is where you put in the code so it's gonna be a code down below in the description when you sign up for a free trial through the link down below so that's what a product hunt is. So this is a dark mode, a white label. At the time of me making this video, they've not done the white label, but they're gonna do it soon. So you can change your password here, change your personal information here. And like, that's literally how the settings uh, page looks. So that's it right there. And uh, if you're someone that actually owns a company, you can actually come here where it says sub accounts. You can put in your employees details, put in your email and your password. And like, that's literally what ad creative looks like on the inside. So if you've watched it, and if you've watched it at this point, it's the end of the video, sad to see you go. But if you watched it at this point, I wanna say thank you for watching to the end. Leave me a like down below. I'll see you around. If you have any questions, ask me down below. Stay safe out there and peace out.